I want to be a boss and and throw grenades and slice and dice all these enemies and stuff. Uh, the next day, Estelle went to the Herb Royal Villa to give Sid the report on the letters. Oh, I thought, like, fighting was going on. I was like, oh my goodness. Not a fan of Estelle? I, I, I am a fan of, of Estelle, actually. It's just, um... I feel like, um... Well... I don't know whose story uh, we're following in the Trails in the Sky games. So I want to, I want to follow a similar path that the first game took. We got to play as Estelle and Joshua. And so I feel like, I feel like there has to be a moment where we get to play as Joshua in this game. It just makes the most amount of sense to me. Um, but it's been, I don't, how many hours am I into this game already? And we've had two cutscenes, two cutscenes with Joshua. And that is it. That's the only times we've seen him. And uh, it's, it's a very bold take, very, very bold to not let us play Joshua and see what he's up to and things like that uh, and stick to Estelle. Um, I just I just finally want that transition so I could be like, okay, I was right. They're gonna spend this amount of chapters or time on Estelle and then they're gonna swap over to Joshua and we're gonna spend that amount of time with him. I haven't done that yet, so you know, I'm, I'm just I'm trying to be patient. I see. This report is very thorough. Thank you very much. You investigated this quite well. I guess. I'm still kind of miffed we couldn't find uh, who sent the letters, to be honest. This is more than enough information for an initial investigation. I doubted, uh, I doubted we would uncover the party responsible for uh, the threats at this stage anyway. If anything, this gave me exactly what I needed, information to consider what we might need to defend against. Good to hear. So what's been happening with uh, you army guys since then? We finished our initial deployment yesterday. We will be using the villa as a patrol uh, headquarters until the signing ceremony is concluded. So that's why there were so many soldiers out and about. I'm guessing that's, uh, that's why uh, there were like no monsters on the road over here. We conducted a, an extensive monster hunting sweep this morning. We'll be performing them periodically until the ceremony ends. Too bad you can't do that more often. Well, you have something of a point. Speaking of civilian concerns, about that girl's parents, the ones you mentioned yesterday, I haven't heard any reports that they've gone through any of the regional gate posts. Nuts. <laughs> uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. I'll let the guild know the instant we hear anything. For the moment, you've done fine, uh, fine work with this investigation. I'll have your payment wired to the guild ASAP. Uh, thanks, Colonel Sid. You know what? I'm going to ask this here. I've asked this before. I, I know I probably asked uh, the same people that are in chat, but I'm going to ask again. What do you think sounds more urgent? If I said, I need you to go to the store ASAP, does that sound more or less urgent than I need you to go to the store as soon as possible. Let me know in chat. But uh, what should we do now? Uh, you want us to help out with the patrols in the capital once we get back? Well, if you plan on staying in Gransel, I wouldn't turn away the help. I do know you're busy with other matters, however. I won't insist on you staying. Uh, well, we still have Ren's situation to deal with, so we'll talk to Elnin about it uh, all when we get back. Sounds like a plan. Sir, excuse me, sir. Belk, what's wrong? Don't worry, these people can be trusted. Very well, sir. We've received a phone transmission from headquarters at Layston, sir. Remnants of the intelligence division have been sighted in the Bose region. What? No way. Details, man, explain. They were first sighted by some bracers. 
I'm afraid we don't have all the details on their confrontation yet. However, General Bright has ordered all army stations to stand by at level 2 alert. I see. Thank you, Mr. Belk. I suspect we're going to be busy fairly soon. Yeah, no kidding. Estelle, back to the guild on the double. Right. Colonel Sid, good luck with your patrols and stuff. Stay safe, friends. Really, you're not going to port me back over there when the, the roads are supposed to be safe? As soon as possible? See, I think so too, but some other people I've asked this question to, they say ASAP sounds more urgent. You know, because if you don't have the time to say as soon as possible, ASAP means that like it really needs to get done. And I was like, you know what? There's merit to that. But, like, who spells things out nowadays? People are, people are saying RN instead of right now. And that bugs me. It's bugged me so much that I've actually banned RN in chat. Nobody's ever said it in chat, but I've banned it. You can't say it. Estelle. Don't, don't try saying it. Still, Gate, are you done? That was kind of quick, wasn't it? Uh, didn't I tell you? We just needed to turn in a report. You could have just waited at the guild house. That's mean. Just wanted to stay with you, Estelle. Tita, say something to her. Me? Well, I do want to stay with Estelle uh, all the time, but she has work to do, so I don't want to be selfish. Fine, then. In that case, I'll just have to run off with Estelle myself. You don't get to play, Tita. Ran, you're so mean. Come on, you two. Don't fight. Uh, Tita, you're the older girl here. Uh, so let it slide, okay? You two seem really close all of a sudden. I'm not annoying, am I? Uh, come on, sweetie. Uh, like I could ever stop loving you. Well, Tita, uh, you keep making that sad, lonely face, and I'm just gonna have to hug... Uh, hug you all up. Stop, Estelle. Tita, pity hugs are cheating. For the love of... I'm not gonna even try to keep up with this anymore. If you kids are done, how about we get back to the guild house? Oh yeah, we should. Something happened? Yeah, some of the old intelligence goons showed up in bows. That's awful. Yeah, we were, uh, we're still a bit fuzzy on the details. Elnan uh, El can help uh, hopefully tell us more. We need to hurry back then. Isn't fair, you guys. I don't know what you're talking about at all. Alright, Ren. Basically, some serious stuff has come up and we need to get back to the guild house. Oh, well, that was easy. Too bad, it'd be fun to play hide-and-seek with all these soldiers. We can use the whole forest as a hiding place. It'd be fun, right? That might be fun, yeah. Let's not do that and say we did. Okay, you guys ready to go? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just, just let me go. Let me go. RN. <laughs> Darn you, Kefka. Poor Agate. Man, I'm starting to feel like Agate in this game. I just gotta sit on the sidelines and, and just see these scenes happening. And it's just like, oh my gosh. Every freaking time. Hey, isn't that... What is the meaning of this? Do you deliberately besmirch me? Do non van oslis? Osleses? Oslesi? Rightful heir to the throne? No, your grace, not at all. In fact, this morning we put a plan into motion to slay any monsters along the road to Granzel. You will be completely safe with the allotted escort. That is not the point. An honor guard of a mere three men is wholly unacceptable for a man of my stature and importance. I demand at least a full squadron. Ten men, go. But your grace. Your grace, please do not demand so much of them. Her, uh, Her highness has finally given leave for us to return. Please, we should consider ourselves lucky to have received such kindness itself. Silence, Philip. This punishment was the height of injustice to begin with. Even the outrageous grievances levied against me, I should demand nothing less than the whole royal guard to meet me. 
Well, we may not be the entire Royal Guard, but we could go with you if you'd like. Oh boy. You, Miss Estelle. Haven't changed a bit, have you, Duke, old buddy? Not very dukey, or dukely dukey. <laughs> not very dukely to railroad everyone with your selfishness. Very you, but not very dukely. How dare you call me buddy, you, you impertinent nobody? Why are you even here? The villa was to be closed off to the common rabble. Yeah, you see, we had actual work to do here. So, going for a walk, old buddy? More than a mere stroll, girl. Prepare to be shocked. Alicia has come to her senses and released me from the unjust punishment which bound me here. The unjust punishment? Wait, they're actually letting you out of house arrest? Indeed, word arrived from Her Royal Highness this morning. She instructed us to depart, uh, to depart from the villa and return to Gransel Castle. Oh, brother. Queen's way. Way too nice. Well, good for you, I guess. Try to keep a clear head so you don't get played a second time, okay? What? You know, uh, don't you think you should examine your lifestyle a bit? You're kind of a slacker, buddy. Uh, maybe you should start with a bit of exercise. Wow. What is it? I say something weird? No, it is exactly as you say, Miss Estelle. If his grace only had a better hold on his life, he would not have been so easily manipulated by Colonel Richard. Allow me to echo your suggestion. Enough of your lectures. Enough of this. I shall not remain here a second longer among such riffraff. We depart for the capital. Uh, your grace? Oh, weren't you just going on about not having enough men? No. Come, let's go, men. Small verbal accident. <laughs> Miss Estelle, it may be an old refrain by now, but thank you. I'm not sure how to express my gratitude. Ah, don't worry about it. But I don't know. I think you really need to drop the hammer a bit more, Philip. I think he's the way he is, uh, because nobody's ever really even scolded him, you know? Yes. But I don't really think he's that rotten deep, deep down. Uh, so I think he can still change. Don't you think he just needs a hand? Miss Estelle, your words ring so true. Philip, why are you dawdling with peasants? Keep loitering, we'll depart without you. Yes, Your Grace, I shall be, but shall be but a moment, if you will excuse me. <laughs> That's what you get for playing on widescreen. You know, I think we probably should have gone with them, but man, you really are something, Estelle. You're incredible, Estelle. I kind of noticed when we first met. You're kind of, um, too nice, aren't you? Too nice? You don't get it, don't sweat it. Uh, get back to the capital. Yeah, I wonder, uh, what other conversation we're gonna have. I think I forgot to save, like, eight times. We're just gonna mark this, be sure. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't think I have... Tita. Oh, you have hit two. So you're the one. You're the one. Actually, not that much of an upgrade. Where did she get all these uh, these new weapons from? Move you back a little bit. What parts of these games have you liked the most so far? Gameplay, story, characters, lore, music, etc. Any topic, really. Hmm. Getting me to think about things, are you? Um. What? Let me see. Um, when it came to the Trails of Cold Steel games, the the thing that I liked the most 
were the machinations. There's a lot of really cool machinations in these games for for characters that that uh, I like, I guess. And so seeing those those machinations come to life is pretty enjoyable to watch because a lot of them are actually really good and well thought out machinations. So I think that's probably my favorite part, which is likely the reason why I give this game or I I uh, give these games a little bit more slack when it comes to like the plot dumps on the end. You know, I still don't like plot dumps as a whole, but seeing all these these plans uh, come together is pretty cool and it's probably my favorite part. Um, I would say I like the bad guys a lot. I think all the bad guys, like pretty much every single bad guy is pretty cool. Um, and among my, my favorite characters, oh yeah, the Fisherman's Guild. Okay, well, not helpful whatsoever. No, oh, it's Lloyd. Hey, Lloyd. Um, so I'd probably go with that. I'd probably go with that. The Machination. You love when you can enjoy the bad guys in games? Man. Bad guys are my favorite. And and when the bad guys aren't cool, when it's when the game just kinda kinda falls down, you know? You need the bad guys to be cool. We're back. Hey, welcome back. Welcome back. Sadie's back. Back again. Guess who's back? Hello, friend. Guess who's back? Guess who's back? You delivered the report, I take it. Yep, no problem. Uh, we just received the mission fee from the army a moment ago. Here, let me give you the reward. Uh, yay for Colonel Sid. He does some fast work. Only 3,000. Uh, anyway, more importantly, I heard some old intelligence guys were seen near Bose. So the villa was contacted as well. I thought that might be the case. Uh, we were just talking about that as it so happens. It sounded like some guild members found them. Yes, it was Sherazard and Annalise. What? They discovered a base. Uh, the intelligence division fugitives had uh, had been using in the abandoned mine near Ravenue. Unfortunately, the base itself had already been abandoned as well uh, as well by the time they found it. Uh, that's where we fought those bandits. Uh, why didn't we think to look there? You said their base was abandoned. Any idea where they went after that? Actually, former intelligence special forces have been seen all over the Bo Bose region. The border garrison is currently investigating the situation. Oh man, would we pack it up and head over to Bose to help? No, there's a chance this is simply a distraction. Until we get a request for help from the Bose branch directly, I would prefer not to act rashly. There's another reason for caution as well. It seems as, uh, it seems the society has a hand in this. What? Ah, oh, heck. Sherazard and Analyze encountered one of their agents in the abandoned mine. Another enforcer, Campanella the Fool. Son of. Another one, huh? Uh, they also found several strange things in the ruins of the base. Firstly, they discovered plans for something called the Argyll, uh, which seems to be some form of orbital-driven vehicle. They also found a memo written in cipher discussing a tea party of sort. Argyll tea party? Well, that explains everything and leaves us with no questions, no siree. Uh, what do you mean by orbital-driven vehicle? What is it? I'm more concerned about what a tea party uh, could refer to. And there she goes. Hard to, sit on, uh, hard to sit on our butts after hearing all that. Come on, cool your heads, guys. Uh, the army and our guildmates are working hard over there. I'm sure uh, they'll keep things under control. We'll hear about it soon enough. Exactly. I know it may make you nervous, but please remain in Gransel for the time being. 
For now, you may do as you please. All right, I'm sure Olivier would have pre... Oh, yeah, was he not here originally? Wait, where'd Olivier go? Yes, the Airboning Embassy called a little while ago. It was Olivier. He said he had a small piece of business to attend to and left. He did say he would return quickly. I wonder what that's about. Wait, speaking of missing... Uh, where did Ren go? What? You guys didn't hear the door open? Like, come on. She was here just a minute ago. Crap. You think she got bored with all the talking and went out to play? Hawk was getting kind of heavy. I know I'd book it if I was the kid. Uh, well, this isn't good. Darn it, we need to do something uh, about her if we're going to leave it, uh, leave Gransel. I'm going to go look for her. I'll come too. I think I might know where Ren went. Thanks, Tito. Sorry, Elman. Not at all. While you're out, I'll get the other branches up to speed and see if we can learn anything new. Please form your party. You may choose one additional party member. Let's see, with uh, Homeboy Slice gone, we don't have a healer. Great. We're gonna need uh, to choose you. Now then, where should I hide? Or where would I hide if I was a silly little girl? Tita, any ideas? We went by a lot of places in the Eastern Block yesterday. Maybe she's at one of those places. Which places? First we looked around the department store, then we went to the history museum, and we stopped by the ice cream stand near the clock tower. Wow, you two were busy. Sounds like you had a lot of fun though, Tita. Let's begin by checking around those places then. Now let's drag our little stray back. Yeah, let's waste my time. It seems like she got upgraded equipment. Uh, sure. Let's let's give you a cat tail. Let's give you a cat tail. Let's see, we can prevent poison, or we can prevent freeze. I feel like Freeze is pretty rare. Okay. Um, where were the locations again? Oh, I should probably check the, uh, the board. There might be a quest that I might be interested in, like this one. Although, I wouldn't want to do this quest with my current party. Man, it is so hot in here, man. It is so hot in here. East block. This is not the east block. I go east side. All right, history museum. Oh, I think there's a ice cream clock tower here. Well, that song takes you back. Which uh, which song are you talking about? I don't remember. Uh, you know, I I didn't mention it, but I do like uh, a lot of the the music in this game too. Although, you know, if, if I had to give a, a criticism, um, I do kind of wish that there were more, more songs. Um, yeah. Alright, there is, there is no suckle food child here. The department store. Really? Really? You're gonna do this to me, video game? Why? 
Why, 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 why? There she is! Quick, we gotta follow her! As if this kid is some sort of ninja. I think we lost her again. How in the heck is she able to scuttle around like this? Kids. Ida, you and Ren visited this department store yesterday, didn't you? Yeah. Uh, she might have gone somewhere else, though. I don't think she'd gone too far. Let's look around the eastern block for her. Uh, where was the the other... The other one? Oh yeah, the, the history, history museum. <clears throat> Never actually been inside this building before. Uh, you said you came in here right uh, before, right, Tito? Yeah, we looked at everything. Good day, are you visitors? We're looking for someone, actually. Remember Ren? Oh, that young lady in the white dress who was with the girl you're accompanying today. Yeah, that's her. You remembered us. Well, you two stood out a bit. And yes, I saw her just a little while ago. She should be in the museum, I believe. Awesome, thanks. All right, let's go catch her. Calendar. All right, well, you're gonna give me a history lesson. I'm gonna eat. I remember this guy. Santos. Um, he had me do that quest to get the picture, I think. Alright, Dong. Much as I'd love to hear your benign, worthless dialogue, I have a benign, worthless kid. To search after. Well, she's gone. She's like a ninja. Hey, miss, do you know where the colorless fish are? Goodbye. Miss, pardon me, your friends are. You could have said that earlier, or still, you could have yelled. Wait, Ren, Ren, please wait. I'm not here. Yeah, thanks for nothing, Lycia. Lycia. They're trying to stop her, but no, it's okay. Did she say anything before she left, though? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, she asked me. Uh, she asked me. Uh, a very strange question. She said, do you know where the colorless fish are? Doesn't seem like a typical question for a little girl. I think that's a riddle, actually. A riddle? What? I think she's trying to make us chase her by solving riddles she leaves behind. You're kidding me. And now she's running away from us on purpose? Oh, Ren, you little... Well, it's just a guess, really. Okay, little cat girl, you want to play like that? Then let's do it. I'm not about to lose to an 11-year-old. Come on. Not really the point here, Estelle. The riddle is, do you know where the colorless fish are? Yeah, so we need to find some colorless fish first. Oh, good luck. Oh, thanks. Thanks for, for the, like, the, the tip. I don't know anything about no colorless fish.
Okay, so... Colorless fish, hey! I get it, fish prints. <laughs> yeah, the feet. Lunar Silver Star story complete. Is that the same as... Lunar... Silver Star Saga from the PSP? Oh, interested in my fish print, are you? That's proof of my hard-earned glory, that is. Settle on down, I'll tell you a tale of my valor. We'll have to take a rain check on that, I'm afraid. Sir, did a girl in a white dress come by here? Ah, she's your friend? You girl, that one. Bit of an oddball. She asked me a very strange question, and then left, just like that. I knew it. What was the question, sure? sir? 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 Uh, do you know where the bitter, spicy, delicious store is? Definitely another riddle. Bitter, spicy, delicious. Got it. Alright, time to hit the stores. Uh, I'm guessing that is the curry house. I'm really bad at riddles. Like, really bad. Oh, this is a coffee house. I guess coffee could be spicy. Or, uh, yeah, spicy. What are your specials? Uh, coffee, of course. Dark roasted dragon bean blend. Our spice heavy curry is also real. Oh yeah, this is the curry place. I, I remember correctly. Spicy curry and bitter coffee, huh? It's a bitter, spicy, delicious store. Hey, has a little girl in a white dress been by? Yeah, she was here not too long ago. She ordered a uh, cafe au uh, cafe au lat, cafe au light, la 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 eat. <laughs> uh, and seemed to love it. Come to think of, or come to think, she did ask me a very strange question though. What would that be, sir? Uh, do you know where they sell sweets that disappear if you leave them alone? I think. Sweets that disappear if you leave them alone. Okay, I wrote that down. I think we're tightening the noose. I might know where this one is. Probably ice cream. Ice cream for ice cream. Sweet said despair if you leave them alone. I get it. Yes, if you leave frozen treats alone, they do disappear by melting, even though they're still on the ground. Just lick it right up. Hey, you're that girl from yesterday. Your cute little friend stopped by for a nice pop. Uh, you two aren't together today. Thought so. Miss, did she tell you a riddle by chance? A riddle? I don't think so. Uh, she was very cheerful and told me, I'm gonna go see my friends at the landing port. Friends being us, I bet. Only done with riddles, I hope. For being a kid, she's got us pretty good. Seriously, making us worry and run around like this. Giving her the biggest lecture when we finally catch her. Bars? Oh, please don't get too mad at her. I think Red is just kind of lonely. Been, uh, You've all been busy with work and her parents are missing and True, we, we neglected her, but we're not her parents. She needs to be a good girl and just sit the soccer fool down. All right, let us go about our business and let your parents come back when they come back. I? Way to kill my righteous lecture fury, Tita. Either way, we need to go to the landing port. Where the soccer fool is the landing port? Oh, right up there. Uh, different game, you think? You never heard of that PSP game? French is hard, isn't it? Uh, light, lot, 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 light means milk. Uh, save? I was just about to save because it is 436. I should probably mark that too. 